Our 2012 CES coverage is powered by Ford. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2012 checking out Tamago. Tamago has this interesting product here that they're calling the 360 Imager. What this guy does is takes photographs, panoramas in 360 degrees, uh, very simply with just the push of a button. The operation uh, looks pretty dead simple. What we have here is an LCD on the back for viewing of photos and other such information right there. Um, a big huge button and that's it. There's a USB port and mini back here to charge the device to get photos off of the device. You can also get photos off of the device via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Not sure if it's Wi-Fi Direct Connect or how. They haven't been able to explain the mechanics of it. This right here is just a prototype. Uh, this is slated to be releasing in uh, second quarter of 2012 with a price point of about $200. Now, the 360 degree image is captured in a 14 megapixel JPEG and what we have here is all done with this curved optics that basically takes about a 200 degree field of view. So if you hold it up like over your head, just click the button, you should be able to get a picture in just a flash of a second. There's no mechanics in there to spin anything around or anything like that. There's no mirrors to stand above this. We've seen some other things from Kickstarter that clip to your iPhone that do something very similar, but I think that this is probably targeted to more towards a consumer that's just looking for an all-in-one device with a big stupid button that they can press. Uh, some other features that it has is the ability to take in addition to a 360 panorama uh, horizontally, but to hold it vertically you can put it on either end and take really long photos. So if you're in front of a building or something like that, you could get a pretty stretched out image all the way to the top. I'm looking forward to seeing actually how it is implemented because uh, that's really what it all comes down to. But uh, right now in the hand, it feels great and I'm sure that it'll find a niche in real estate and other such events. For continued coverage of CES 2012, go ahead and head over to revision3.com slash CES. And of course, I'd like to thank Ford for powering our CES coverage. Brake Coach, found in the Ford Focus EV's instrument cluster, allows you to optimize your usage of the car's regenerative brakes. It displays a graphic that shows how much energy is captured each time you stop so that you can make adjustments to maximize your range. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.